Hello viewers. Hello viewers and welcome to an episode of Tips, Taps and Thoughts. Three T's. My last name, Bellotti, is only two, so I went for the third one. <laughs> Just aside, this is about sharing. And uh, so who, who doesn't need tips? Who can't find tips from everything that happens around us on a daily basis? I just learned some amazing things yesterday from a, a colleague by the name of Victor Wooten, who happens to be here on campus. And uh, he was sharing some amazing stories and views and, uh, and, and how to teach music properly. So we're not so much going to be talking about the instrument, although this will be uh, a message through the drums, but the goal would be the music itself. So. The tips um, come from everywhere, and uh, my, my goal will be to, to share some of my thoughts with you through the taps. Okay, this is only a mean. The drums is only a mean to express my ideas, my thoughts, and give you some tips. We do welcome feedbacks, so wherever you're watching this, please, if you have a feedback, an idea, something constructive, feel free to comment on it or add your own momentum. Okay, and subscribe to the channels where you're watching this because those channels are geared up to provide you with more music education. So support it and share it. Okay, Facebook, YouTube, wherever it is, Twitter, just do the social media thing, which is appreciate, follow, and get the wheels spinning. Today we'll talk about groove and motion and those two things really are meant to be one. The way we move affects the way we sound and to sound effectively and stay in that groove we must move accordingly. I don't want to talk too much I'll say some postscript thoughts at the end but here I am playing an eight note groove something sort of basic and I'll expand by playing some fills. To be honest with you, I don't like that word, fills, so we're going to call those embellishments. They must take the groove to a new height and embellish the beat or embellish the next section of the song or the transition going into that part of the song. Watch my hands, try to see and detect and understand what I'm doing. I'll give you a little bit of uh, practical exercises for you at home right after this uh, short performance clip. I sneaked in a little bit of a triplet at the end, but guess what? All I did was basing my ideas on eight notes, and I capped that dance. Hopefully you could see both arms, as a matter of fact, even my legs, were moving and dancing in eight notes. 
And that helped me to play, hopefully, all those notes with groove and with a little more articulation and integrity with the style, with the feel that I was playing. You should try that at home to create some fills and embellishments just by moving one limb at a time first around the kit. And that's exactly what I did. So I didn't change anything. My hi-hat part became my toms part. The left hand, for you, most of you, this will be the left hand, the backbeat, the one that plays the snare drum, backwards for me, I'm a left-handed drummer, should also be in motion. So when I was on the ride, I played some fills and some notes, but I still kept that dance. So to summarize it, move both limbs. And the notes that you don't play, sort of that air drumming, are actually the glue that keeps the groove in place. Now artists call that the canvas. The canvas becomes part of the painting. The rests in music are just as important. It's, it's notes that you happen to play with the sound of silence. You can't ignore them. If you remove all the, the rests, then every song would just have one sound. All the notes would be staggered together and, and uh, it wouldn't sound musical at all. So by doing this, you keep the groove. You get a chance to leave space because you can play all of the notes and then eventually subtract. Whichever one you choose to play, well, that's your personality, that's your taste, that's what fits with the music, hopefully, if you're listening and you're using your own judgment. Have fun at home. Tips, taps, and thoughts. Thank you very much. Sergio Bellotti. Till next time.